Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to look at charge moving parallel to an electric field. So let's get into it. Now this section on movement of charged particles in uniform electric fields is all recap from higher physics. And the first case is to look at charge moving parallel to an electric field. Or in other words, moving perpendicular to two charged parallel plates. So it says here that a charge placed in an electric field will be accelerated in a similar way to a mass in a gravitational field. Consider a free positively charged particle of charge Q moving parallel to a uniform electric field, i.e. perpendicular to the plates. And there's our positively charged particle Q moving perpendicular to the plates. So it's moving horizontally in this case. If the charge is moved in the opposite direction to the electric field, as shown below, its electrical potential energy will increase since the energy required to move it against the field is stored. So remember for two charged parallel plates, the electric field lines will go from positive to negative, so the electric field lines will point to the left in this case. However, if we take our positive charge Q and move it towards the positive plate, then the repulsion force would want to increase between the two because they're both positively charged. However, what we can see is that this energy is stored as we move this charge to the right. And just to help you visualize this, I'm going to show you a quick simulation. So if you have a look here, I've got a positively charged plate on the left and a negatively charged plate on the right. So in this example, my field lines go from left to right. If I take my positive charge plus Q and have it near the negative plate, then if I move the charge to the left against the electric field lines, then it's going to be storing this electrical energy, which we call electrical potential energy. So when it's on the negative plate, it would have zero electrical potential energy, but it's going to have maximum electrical potential energy when it's up next to the positive plate. Going back to the notes, from the above, it says we can conclude that work done is equal to the change in electrical potential energy. So remember we said work is done in the charge to move it against the electric field lines, and it stores that electrical potential energy. If we know the potential difference V between the parallel plates and the charge Q on the charged particle, we can actually calculate the work done W to move the charge. And this gives us the equation W equals QV, which we've seen before when we talked about the definition of electrical potential, where W is work done measured in joules, Q is electric charge measured in coulombs, and V is potential difference measured in volts. Let's say our positively charged particle is at the positively charged plate with maximum electrical potential energy, then it says if the charge moves in the direction of the electric field as shown below, so if we let this charge go, its kinetic energy will increase due to the work done on it by the electric field. So when it's here, the charge will want to then move to the left, and it's then going to change in kinetic energy as it moves. Going back to our simulation here to help you visualize this, we're saying that we start with the charge Q at the negative plate and we store energy as it moves against the electric field lines, but then if we let the charge go from the positively charged plate, its kinetic energy will change as it wants to move towards the negatively charged plate along the direction of the field lines. If we consider the charged particle released from rest at plate B in this case, so over here, its electrical potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy. That is, QV, we could say from W equals QV, is equal to a half MV squared. Or in other words, the work done is equal to the kinetic energy, because our initial kinetic energy was zero. However, a top tip here for you is that if the charged particle is already moving with an initial kinetic energy, and is not starting from rest, then it is helpful to use the following relationship. The work done equals the change in kinetic energy. And this is a very useful rule to remember. And that's why I've put it in a box. So in symbol form, we could say work done is equal to the change in kinetic energy, delta EK, which is the same as saying EK final minus EK initial. So the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy, which is just the same as the change in kinetic energy. Or we could say QV, because we know that W equals QV, is equal to a half mv2 squared minus a half mv1 squared, where v2 is the final speed of the particle and v1 is the initial speed of the particle. And that's just using our equation for kinetic energy, ek equals a half mv squared. However, we can factorize this to make it look a bit simpler, where we have qv equals a half m times v2 squared minus v1 squared. So we've taken the half m outside the brackets and factorized. And this is a very useful expression to remember when the charges don't start from rest on the plates. So it says to note that a positively charged particle placed in an electric field will always follow the direction of the field lines. A negatively charged particle will do the opposite. And also note that the energy required to move charge between two points in an electric field is independent of the path taken. So just to summarize this last bit, 
If the charge starts from rest on the plate, we can use this expression QV equals a half MV squared because the initial kinetic energy will be zero in this case. However, if the charge does not start at rest on the plate and it's already moving with some initial speed and therefore has an initial kinetic energy, then we can use this relationship work done equals a change in kinetic energy or QV equals a half MV2 squared minus V1 squared. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.